Hi, I'm Warren Buckleiner. Today I'm looking at one of the most conceptually exciting yet commercially frustrating math programs that I've reviewed this year. Let's get to the good stuff first, and that's the ability to take these number bubbles, which are actually add-ins, combine them, they pop together, and then put them onto the fish, and the sum is floating around on the fish. This is a carefully leveled program. The better you do, the harder it gets. If you start to make mistakes, it gets easier. And then you can win pearls, which can be used to customize your fish, another play pattern that kids just love. A set of parent options lets you adjust the difficulty level from 1 to 18. Here's a look at the hardest level, and you can see when I start making mistakes, the fish does eventually shrink and fade away. So this all looks pretty good so far, and you might be thinking, what are some of the weaknesses? Well, one is that children using the program for the first time will try to feed the bubbles to the fish. Uh, until they figure out that you actually place the bubbles onto the fish, this can be a little bit frustrating. This is a pretty minor point. A bigger issue from my perspective is how this program uh, mixes children's math work with in-app sales. Here's how that works. The main menu shows six items, but only one of them leads to activities. The other five lead to a little shopping cart here. And if you touch the word pot, the, the buy button, you, it takes you right to iTunes. You type in your iTunes password and you are charged automatically uh, to download the additional uh, content. Now, of course, Motion Math needs to make money. I would prefer if there was just a straight up version you pay for once and you get the whole program. You can also toggle on and off the background music and the parent menu, which is nice. I would like a, a, an option for that on every screen. There's also a leaderboard, which would be great for classroom use. So there you have it. That's Hungry Fish, one of the most innovative math facts programs we've seen today. We hope to see more from Motion Math in the future. I'm Warren Buckleitner. We'll see you next time.